కొంచెం సీరియస్ సెషన్లు వెళ్ళిపోదాము ఓకే సార్ నైన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ మీ మీ గవర్నమెంట్లో ఎన్నో స్కీమ్స్ ఎన్నో డెవలప్మెంటల్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఎన్నో చేసు తీసుకొచ్చారు అందులో విమెన్ ఇంక్లూజివిటీ అనేది ఏమన్నా ఒక అంశం ఉంటే అది ఏంటి అని మీరు అనుకుంటున్నారు ఈ నైన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్లో టు వాట్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ యూ సా దట్ విమెన్ రియలీ గ్రూ ఎక్స్పొనెన్షియలీ the one question i think women need to ask themselves do you want to be exclusive or inclusive inclusive kad kad yeah yeah both is a great inclusive. answer kad <laughs> no no because when it comes to when it comes to programs and when it comes to actionable agenda if you ask me what are the things that you've done exclusively for women there's a bunch of things that we yeah. do mm. but if it's the larger inclusivity part and what you've done for people at large there is again a huge list of things that we have done so i think the question is ante meeru chesina programs schemes lo andariki chesina appatiki kuda women inclusiveness ekkuva ekkuva shatham unna programs gaani schemes gaani developmental activities gaani emi emti anna chaala unnai ante for example for example if if you think about it prior to 2014 2014 kante mundu you used to i mean i'm not saying they have completely disappeared i would be lying if i did that yeah. you used to read lot of these horror stories like devara kondalo apde puttina biddu nammukunnaru leda old city lo oka amma i chinna pillaki oka musli arab sheikh tho pelli chesaru itlanti konni stories inappudu you really i mean no matter you may not have experienced it personally you may not even be a woman or a girl but you'd be shattered you'd be looking at it and saying on a human level be like what is wrong with our society how can this be right and when you see stories like how women have to feed their uh, children knowing fully well that the water is not potable the water is actually causing fluorosis still you have to give the same water because there's no cho- choice like in nalgonda yenni chusinappudu at a at a very human level at a very primordial uh, human being level homo sapien level you feel very insulted you feel as a government can you not get this basics sorted right so one of the most important things that we have done if you ask me is providing portable drinking water connection to each and every home unfortunately in a country like india it's a shame that 75 years after independence a government has to sit and claim that humne pani pilaya isliye humne kuch chappad phad ke kuch kaam kiya that's a basic thing that somebody has to have done long back but nobody did it but we became the first state in india to have given a portable drinking water connection to each and every one of our 10 million homes and then that inspired prime minister and his government to take up har ghar jal campaign which is a good thing and they, these are the things i think need to be addressed basics the second thing is devara kondalo ee ammakalu ee chinna pillal namukodam enti asal what is this ante then we realize that there are deep rooted issues like basic subsistence issues unnai vaalaku asal livelihood challenge undi కాబట్టి ఇవి దిలేని పరిస్థితుల్లో చేస్తున్నారు అండ్ దెన్ ద థర్డ్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ ఇక్కడ సేమ్ లాజిక్ అప్లైస్ హియర్ ఎవరు ఒక అమ్మాయిని ముసలోడికి ఇచ్చి ఎందుకు పెళ్లి చేస్తున్నారు అంటే సేమ్ థింగ్ అగైన్ ద మల్టిపుల్ చిల్డ్రన్ ద పేరెంట్స్ కాంట్ ఫెండ్ ఫర్ ద ఫెండ్ ఫర్ దేర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఆర్ యునో యునో బేసిక్ బేసిక్ నీడ్స్ సో దేర్ ఫోర్ దే గెటింగ్ రెడ్ ఆఫ్ దమ్ సో వాట్ వీ హెవ్ డన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అగైన్ మేము వీ లాంచ్డ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ ప్లస్ స్కూల్స్ ఫర్ మైనారిటీ Uh, 100 plus schools for minority young women initially muslim minority and christian minority pillal kosam mem schools launch chestunappudu some people have told us that you know this is not going to work they said no 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 muslim young women don't come out and stay in residential schools ye to nahi chalega but ksr garu didn't listen he said no no it's not the case everybody wants education everybody wants basics to be taken care you're wrong and he went ahead with conviction today i'm happy to report to you all that more than 204 schools have been launched for muslim minorities in which we have nearly 115000 students out of which 57000 are young women and all of them are getting quality education on each child we spend 120000 rupees we take care of all their basic needs books uh, their clothing their basic needs etc etc everything is taken care of. on each child we spend 10000 rupees per month what this has done is now these young women are cracking neat they're cracking iits nits iims i think you train a woman young women especially i think you're literally training a generation of uh, young women who can literally become the beacons of change and the beacons of hope now this is something that is truly 
if you ask me that's a true achievement the other thing is the other thing is nijanga kuda telangana lo health care was bad oka appudu cinema lo paatalu rasaru nenu ranu biddo sarkaru dava kanaku ante government hospital pote champestaru will they are bad i'm not saying they have become apollo hospitals or ashoda hospitals yet i'm not going to make uh, tall claims but significant improvement today our institutional deliveries in government institutions have increased from 31% to 61% manaku 60% datam 60% ante first class in case yeah. though there students here 60 is first class 70 is distinction so our goal is to go beyond distinction and then infant mortality has come down in a big way maternal mortality has come down because of these institutional practices more importantly hysterectomies have come down there was this i am not going to blame doctors or anybody in particular but there was a trend a yeah. pattern where we saw that because of you know even smaller inconvenience hysterectomies were being performed recklessly even that has come down mm. so women's health care and and education and 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 participation and i think these are some inclusive things that we have done at large but there's still a long